Hi, do we always see things as they are or we see things as we perceive it to be? It may not be a reality though. Let me share with you a lovely story. Nick was a bus conductor in a small town. Every morning he will board the bus and carry on with his usual day. He would issue tickets to people in his happy demeanor. He knew most of the routine passengers that would board bus at each stop. One fine day, he boarded the bus as usual. At each bus stop, people will board the bus and some of them would get down. He would smile and issue tickets to them. That particular day was a little different. It was a third stop and with the passengers, one figure who climbed the bus was quite outstanding. He looked very tall, might be around 6.5 feet, quite sturdy. He really had a huge build. Nick felt little uncomfortable. As he was issuing tickets and came to the gentleman, he simply waved his hand in negative and said, Johnny doesn't buy a ticket. Nick was taken aback. He looked at his expressionless face and glanced at his physique. Nick chose to move on. He did not argue, but he definitely felt very bad. Next day, at the third stop, Johnny boarded the bus again. Nick gathered courage and asked him to buy the ticket. He again said in his hoarse voice, Johnny doesn't buy a ticket. Nick felt sick in his stomach. Mind you, Nick was quite short in height, thin and always felt that he's weak, that's why people take advantage of him. He was carrying on with his life meekly. Life was going on and nothing major happened that could shake him up. Until Johnny, a new passenger, walked in his life. Johnny became a regular passenger. Nick will hold on his breath as the bus approached the third stop. He has stopped asking him for ticket and felt insignificant while he issued tickets to the other passengers. It impacted him so much that even at home he would think about Johnny and he felt very angry. He continued with his job as a conductor till he could take it no more. Johnny made him feel so small. Nick decided he has to do something about it. It cannot go on like this. He approached his boss and asked him for unpaid leaves which were granted. Nick decided to join the gym and work on his physique. He worked really hard. When Nick returned back to his job after two months, he looked very fit. Nick felt confident. That day when Nick boarded the bus, he had a clear agenda in his mind. He eagerly waited for the third stop. As the bus reached the third stop and passengers climbed in including Johnny, Nick approached him and asked him to take the ticket. Johnny looked at him eye to eye in disbelief. Why this guy keeps asking again and again? He said, Johnny doesn't buy a ticket. Nick looked at him eye to eye and said, why is that? Why Johnny doesn't buy a ticket? Ready to take on him. Johnny, still baffled, said, Because Johnny has a bus pass. Woohoo! Dug up a mountain, out came a mouse. I have read the story somewhere and it has stayed with me. How subtle can be our perceptions and how it can impact us? What Nick felt about himself, he projected it outside. Perceptions can be dangerous if we are not aware. It can become our reality too. And if it has a negative connotation, it can really have a bad swing for you or the other person. We misperceive others when we do not understand ourselves accurately. We should be aware of our beliefs and prejudices. Our value system should be strong. Other aspect is, Beside understanding oneself, we should be empathetic to others too. This helps in seeing other person more aptly. Attitude is said to have a long and lasting effect on perception. 
If your attitude is positive, you will be more accepting and look at things with openness. It really helps in overcoming personal biases. It is said, first impression is the last impression. I would say, please delay forming impressions so quickly. Give time to the other person and let the petals unfold. Forming opinions without sufficient information will always have biases. What we see in others depends on our frame of references, our biases, beliefs and opinions gathered from our life experiences. It all depends on which window frame we are peeping through. Changing or cleaning this window frame can lead to a totally different conclusion. Likewise, someone's perception may not be your reality, so do not let that impact you as well. Remember, knowing oneself better, being empathetic to others, maintaining a positive attitude and delaying forming opinions till you have sufficient information can bring you closest to the reality. Do not let the truth covered by our perceptions. Have a good day. Keep loving yourself because you are precious.